another video. So today I'm with my lovely stepsister Bella. Hello. <laughs> and we are going to be doing a review and walkthrough of Lush's Caca Rouge hair dye. I used to work at Lush so I know all about all of the different products and um, I dyed Bella's hair about two months ago um, and you can see it's still quite red but it's fading away so we're going to re-dye it and you can see the before and after of what the colour looks like. Um, it's a really really lovely completely natural hair dye, um, doesn't have any preservatives in it and totally vegan as well and another bonus is that it's completely zero waste so if you're looking for a more ethical hair dye this might be the one and for you. And it's amazing for your hair. Yes, it's very, very good for your hair. It's a very deep condition. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is chop up the henna. Use a really sharp knife to do this and chop it up into relatively small pieces. For Bella's hair, we used about half a block of henna, um, but it depends how long your hair is and how thick it is um, to how much you will use. So this is what it should look like. Then you need to melt the blocks of henna in a bain-marie uh, style. This should take about 10 minutes, um, it does melt quite slowly um, and just keep stirring it. And the kind of consistency that you want is this thick soup-like consistency. Um, I found that gives the best results and you want the henna to be very hot because that helps the colour develop. The dye gets everywhere, so make sure everywhere is covered with newspaper and we made these newspaper shoes as well to protect our feet. Essential for the process. Now we're ready to put the henna on. Make sure your hair is well brushed before um, and you can just see what I'm doing here. I split the hair into equal sections, about two inches in each section. Um, and I'm actually using an old paintbrush to apply it, which I found is a lot easier. Um, I then wrap up each little section into a little donut ball. I am using gloves here, but you can um, not wear gloves um, if you want to be zero waste, but your hands will go orange. So when it's done, this is what it should look like. And then what you want to do is wrap up your hair in cling film which keeps the heat in and leave it for about three hours. So this is the finished result on Bella's hair. As you can see, it's a beautiful red colour. If you want to preserve this colour in your hair well and um, maintain it, make sure that you don't use any shampoos that are enzymic um, with too much lemon juice or fruit juices in them. As this is a natural dye, um, it will change colour over about two to three days after you've dyed it. So at first it might seem quite bright, but then after a couple of days it will go a deeper, redder colour. If you have any questions about henna um, or any other Lush products, just let me know in the comment section.